Hello friends, welcome to Magnotech YouTube channel. Friends, we had completed 50 MCQs for machine design objectives and today we are starting with 51 to 75. So let's start. According to the IT5, standard tolerance unit I is equal to. So answer is 0.45 under cube D plus 0.001 D because last time we have seen the total number of tolerance grade is 18 okay here no, it's not 8 so 18 answer and uh, according to it1 standard tolerance unit i in micron is equal to answer is b so for this uh, according to it5 answer is 0 0.45 okay c answer is c now according to the indian standard specifications 100 h6 oblique g5 it means the whole uh, we can say tolerance grade for the hull is 6 and for the shaft is 5 so answer is a here answer is c then the modulus of elasticity of mild steel is approximately equal to answer is 210 kilonewton per mm square now next when the hole of diameter d is punched in a metal of thickness t then the force required to punch so here there is a circular hole having diameter d and if we have to punch this hole then we have to consider the area of this and thickness okay so here we can say the cross section area of this hole is pi d uh, okay and t so here this is t okay so here pi d circumference into thickness t so answer is pi d t into tau okay so next uh, that the ratio of ultimate stress to the design stress is known as so is known as a factor of safety so factor of safety is equal to we can say ultimate stress upon design stress so there is always ultimate stre stress is higher than the desired stress design stress so we can say factor of safety is always greater than or equal to one okay now an aluminium member is designed on the basis of so as we know the aluminium is a ductile material so if we apply the force on the aluminium it will start to deform so we have to design on the basis of yield stress right what is yield yield means if we apply the force then the material get deformed that is called the yield okay now a localized compressive stress at the area of contact between two member is called so it's a localized compressive stress that is called the bearing stress right then a constant factor in case of r10 series the preferred number is so the answer is c okay so 1.26 uh, for the constant factor in case of r10 series okay so if you want to uh, know about preferred numbers then uh, i will put the uh, you know pu uh, the whole uh, definitions and theory uh, you can press the i bell icon and just look at that okay now the material is traced within the elastic limit and its linear strain is double as compared to the lateral strain the ratio of bulk modulus to the young modulus will be equal to one so answer is wrong okay so here the ratio of bulk modulus to the young modulus is not equal to one if it is double compared to the lateral strain okay next is okay so in the above question the ratio of modulus of rigidity and young modulus if same thing here if we consider the same thing you can pause the video and read it and if we consider the same thing lateral and linear strain then uh, the answer of 60 is c okay 0.33 then the stress in the bar when the load is applied suddenly is double as compared to stress induced due to gradually applied load if you apply the load gradually then it's like a same okay 
but if there is a sudden load so it like a double okay when you apply the, uh, the stress will be the double if you apply the load suddenly okay then when a load w applied suddenly on the bar the cross sectional area a the stress induced in the bar will be so as we know uh, the double here you can say double stress so here we can say it's 2w upon a so answer is c now the shear modulus of resist, uh, resilience is proportional to square of the shear stress so 63 answer is b okay now next is 64 an elastic bar is fixed at the upper end okay there is a elastic bar which is fixed at the upper end and uh, loaded at the lower end by falling weight so here there is a fixed bar and here it is loaded by some weight okay the shock load produced can be reduced by the shock load produced in this bar can be reduced by increasing the length of the bar this length we can increase and we can uh, you know uh, shock load can be reduced then second is decreasing the cross sectional area of the bar so cross sectional area if we decrease length is increase okay third one is decrease the modulus of elasticity of the bar so it is also right so answer is d then next is when the load w suddenly applied to the bar of weight w1 means here the load is w suddenly applied on the bar means the weight of the bar is w1 the stress induced the bar we here talk about the bar okay so the stress induced in the bar will increase with the increase the weight w1 so it is not like that okay so here if w is here then it may be right but here w1 so it is wrong okay so uh, next is when a machine member is subjected to torsion the torsion shear stress set up in the member is zero at the centroidal axis and maximum at the outer surface of the member you can see here this figure and understand it Uh, when the bar is applied for the you know torque torsional stress so it is zero at the center and maximum at the outer side okay so here it is maximum and zero at the center okay next is okay 67 the bending stress in a cow beam is so answer is b uh okay so the answer is b zero at the point other than the centroidal axis so here you can see uh, if we talk about the beam then this is the natural axis and this is a centroidal axis okay so here at the centroidal axis it is the maximum and zero uh, other than the centroidal axis okay now so the answer is bending stress in a cow beam is zero at the point other than the centroidal axis okay now the maximum bending stress in a cow beam having the symmetrical section always occurs at inside fiber okay so the man maximum bending stress in a cow beam having the symmetrical section always occurs at the inside fiber now two shaft a and b under the pure torsion of identical length and the identical weight at particular weight and particular length there are two shaft a and b okay and made of the same material the shaft a is solid and shaft b is hollow so we can say that here a is the solid shaft and b is the hollow shaft so we can say that shaft b is better than shaft a okay so 69 answer is a right then okay then next is according to the rankine theory according to the rankine theory the failure occurs at the point in a member so answer is uh, i will uh, read directly answer because if i read all the options it will so long okay so 
uh, answer is when the maximum principal stress in a biaxial stress system reaches the elastic limit of the material in a simple tension test okay so as per the rankine theory the failure occurs at the point in a member it means rankine says that the failure occur at particular point in a member is when the maximum principal stress so rankine theory is based on the maximum principal stress okay and which is the elastic limit which is the elastic limit at the uh, material in a simple tension test okay so answer is b then rankine theory used for the brittle material you should remember well the rankine theory is used for brittle material and gertz theory used for the ductile material okay so 72 okay so 72 answer is uh, here let us see the failure occurs at the point in a member when the maximum shear stress okay so this is a difference here maximum principal stress for rankine and maximum shear stress for gertz in a biaxial system reaches the shear stress on elastic limit in a simple tension test so answer is true okay so 72 answer is true now the gertz theory used for the ductile material gertz theory used for the ductile material and 74 when the beam of rectangular cross section of b and uh, width b and depth d is subjected to shear force f the maximum shear stress induced will be so answer is 3f upon 2bh okay and when the circular beam here this this is a rectangular cross section here the circular of diameter d subjected to shear force the maximum stress induced will be answer is 16f okay upon 3 pi t square so this is for the circular and this is for the rectangular cross section so friends hope you like uh, this and if you like then press the like button share the video and don't forget to subscribe thank you jai hind jai bharat